Hey kids, it's me, Tony. Welcome to Flossmas number eight. Yes. So it's Tuesday, December the 8th, and I'm up in my office slash craft room that is uh, still a hot mess. I just, I had to go, okay, so I'm buying more adhesive so I can make some more of those cute little, um, thread drops because I have a just a huge amount of thread to do something with. So I'll have to spend the better part of a day up here sometime to do that. So, but I have a question. Uh, how do you guys, do you organize your floss by number or by color? In other words, is your DMC zero to four, whatever it is? Or do you put, here are my reds, here are my greens, here are my blues, so that if you don't happen to have a particular um, called for floss, you can just kind of look at all your, say, blues and pick out one you like. I'm just wondering, I can't, I can't, I can't decide which way to go. Is it, you know, it's, it's easier in a way to look up the number if that's what you're going for, but if you're looking for a color and you don't have, or you find out you don't have that color, then you've got to sort through everything looking for the color you're going to switch out. So that's my question. I just wonder what you guys do since I'm delving into this. Okay, a couple of things. One, I have to show you, I, I got this. I've had this for a couple of weeks and <laughs> I got it off eBay and they didn't really have, they had photos of the um, Zweigart packaging. The, 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 you know, it's kind of fairly old. And you could kind of see what it was, but I couldn't really see for sure until I got it. So what I got was, and this is all Ada, I think. The first one's pretty straightforward. It's red, very red, Christmas red. And it's kind of crunchy, Ada. I think this is 14 count. But then I got a whole wad. I mean, it was really cheap of this. Do you see this? It's pretty. Looks like napkins to me. But um, it's not. It's a Christmas. Let me think. It was an Ada. I forget what they called it. It was an even weave. I want to say it was a 25, maybe. It was one I had never heard of, which doesn't really mean much, but I had never heard of. I'll put it in the box below. But this is what it is. Now, they're not all exactly cut the same. It's like they went through and just cut the same size pieces from a bolt of fabric. So sometimes you get two full squares. Sometimes you get three. You get partial squares on the other side. I have no idea what I would do with this. I mean, I, I think you can make little ornaments for the squares that you do have. I mean, if you wanted to do a series, you probably could do like 12 days of Christmas and do them in one of these little squares. But aside from that, I really don't even know. So, what do you guys think? I didn't pay a lot for it, so I don't feel bad one way or the other. And I can find something to do with it. I just, it was just sort of odd that they weren't uniform. You know, that they didn't. I would have expected, you know, nine full blocks or at least six full blocks, but sometimes you only get two. And uh, most of the time you only get two. I think I only had one or two of these that you got three full blocks. So it seems a little wasteful, but maybe I'm not thinking about this for what you could use it for. So let me know. Then the last thing I just wanted to show you. 
So I had shown you guys um, a couple of PDF files from Stitches Through the Years on Etsy. Lena Linskaya, I think she is Russian or Ukrainian, one of the two. Anyway, um, I thought I would kit them up because there's, there's, not, there's not a lot of colors in either one. So this one, lace and caramel, is monochrome. So one color. So this, I figured that's good. Like for days you don't want to have to switch out colors or think about it or have nightmares of confetti. The other one is this little mini Quaker. Now both of these are shown on linen and on 36 count the little Quaker only comes out to like 20 centimeters which I'm thinking is like six or seven inches so that would be like 18 count so not huge and um, of course it only has four colors it doesn't even really look like four colors but there are two of them are weeks dye works and uh, one is general arts and the other one is uh, classic color works of course I had none of them so but I do have some um, over dyes since I've been you know I joined some of those little groups that send you some every month so I my first time I pulled my own colors what to do but I think I'm pretty close to these colors because if you look at them yeah. well I can't show you the chart part but oh, oh. it's a real pretty day here so I didn't turn on the, the, the lights at all but take a photo it's a deep purple and sort of an orangey yellow they're almost like a pewter color, and a, um, the acorns are in that same golden tone. And then there's, um, so there's like three kind of purpley colors. One, it's really more of a reddish purple. So I kind of went a little more extreme, and, um, what I'm doing is, what do you guys think? I'm going to show you. For that golden color, I am going to use Sulky. Sulky. My Sulky Petite in this blendable, because it kind of has pretty much the colors. I didn't really, I had some yellows, but they were more like in your face yellows. And then I had this cotton, color and cotton, which is brew that I think works. And this is a little brighter, but it's the color and cotton cranberry. But I thought, okay, well, maybe it's a little more Christmassy than autumn. And then, um, this one. Yeah, there's a graphite, and then the last one that I kind of, I went back and forth and back and forth because I didn't have this color. It was pebble, and the color works, but I, and I had pebble in Weeks Dye Works, but the Weeks Dye Works pebble looked a little flatter. So I was looking for something with a little more purpley cast to it. So I'm going with the por porpoise, which that looks like that. So, it's, so it has some green in it, which is what I looked up the pebble in the color works and it looked like it had some green in it. So I think that'll get me loose. So that's what I'm doing on that one. I don't know what I'm doing for fabric. I ordered some fabric a week or two ago 
So I'm waiting on that and I forgot what I ordered. So I'm hoping one of those. If not, I do have this. I don't know what count this is. I don't think it's four. It might be 14 count. Um, it's an, it's either, I think it's an even weave, weave or an Ada. But it has just a little bit of purple in it. And I thought, well, that'll work. But I think uh, maybe something I bought that's coming will work better. We'll see. And then for the other, for the lace and caramel, I don't like this color at all. Just so I wanted to try another one of the sulkies. So for that one, I am going with green. To me, that's much prettier. I don't know which green this is. It's a blendable. Yeah. But I wanted to, it's number 712. So I wanted to try those. Because I think I'm going to like them. I hope I'm going to like them. And then I'm also going to, depending on the size of the fabric I make, I bought one of these Nurge um, hoops. This is a number five. It may be a little too big. It depends on the piece of cloth. They're really well made. I love this. This is so nice. So I noticed uh, Joy Felt stitcher and then um somebody else was talking about they wrap their hoops do you wrap your hoops i never heard of that i guess people wrap their hoops in I forget what they said they bind them in and then kind of kind of just you know i secure them and i guess that holds it better i'm guessing that's why people do that i have never done I didn't even know that was a thing. So if you do it, tell me. Why do you do it? Do you like it better? Does it really make a difference? Inquiring minds want to know. And that's it for today. So, new stuff since I have my VFO. And I'm, I've just been wanting to at least put the colors together. Figure out colors for this stuff feel like you know it's, it's kind of funny because I'm listening to all these um floss tubers saying that 2021 is the no new starts year which I guess works if you have 50 uh whips somewhere but since I don't mine is going to be I need to start some stuff so I have something to show you other than one or two pieces boring and um, you know, now that I know I can finish something, even though it's just virtually finished, it's not totally finished, I feel better. I know, it's weird, but that's just how I feel. Anyway, that's it for today. If you happen to see this same shirt tomorrow, that's because I decided to do tomorrow's today and load it tomorrow. But I may not, because I think I want to take a nap. Which I can do because I'm retired. And when you're retired, you can take a nap. So, thank you so much for listening. Let me know what you think about the color selection. I'm hoping it's not too garish. Now, of course, if I start stitching it and it looks awful, I will be back up here looking for more thread. And, yeah, but I think that'll work. So, it's something small as I, you know, I, I just... I mean, I should, I don't have a, pro I, I don't in theory have a problem picking out colors, but it's the first time for me to do it for cross stitch. So that's it. Thank you for listening this far. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you're enjoying everybody's floss tubes. I am. I've, uh, there's just a lot of different stuff. So talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.